Guys, the future of lithium batteries is here. It probably doesn't look like what you think it would. You ever think that they would start to look like laptops? I did not. I did kind of get a glimpse that Mercury was doing it at Ibex, but only for their electric outboards, specifically their 48 volt and above systems. I didn't see anybody actually doing it for the mainstream. I didn't really think much of it. But then Newport came out with their low pro batteries. I saw one when they came down into Havasu. They showed me it. I used it. I immediately thought to myself, why hasn't this been being done all along? I don't know. Like the brick style battery, that is just a thing that lead acid batteries needed because you needed kind of a tub for all the fluid in there to be in there. It would make no sense to make it like this. It wouldn't be stable. Then AGM, even with their, with their glass mat, which was not even the same thing, that kind of follows suit. The same Group 24 to Group 31 casing. And then lithium batteries did the same thing from the Group 24 to Group 31 casing. Kind of just stayed that way. That brick way. Maybe it was just easier for manufacturers to do it or whatever. But it's not easier for people with boats to put those in places. When I do a boat, when I build one, I always have to think ahead, you know, to put certain batteries in there. Make sure the height's this way. I can't just throw the batteries anywhere. You can't. And even when you already get a boat that's pre-built and pre-molded and... It's, you can only put those batteries so many places. They're a pain. Battery placement in a boat, period, has always been a pain, no matter how light, how heavy they are, because of the size. And I'll tell you, there are so many added features in all these lithium batteries. That's one of the things that happened with lithium came along with lead acid and AGM. There was nothing. It just, you could charge it and it charge it and you use it until it depleted. But with these lithium batteries, there's things like Bluetooth, battery management systems, wake up, sleeping, you know, low voltage sensors, high voltage, overcurrent sensors, heat sensors heating cell technology to keep the battery from freezing, IP67 rated casing, like all these extra things, all these extra add-ons. So many great add-ons out there in the, in the industry, but I tell you, none of they all pale in comparison to the size and the dynamics. This thing was so easy. Like as I made a rig, this light skip air the, with the monster kit on it, that's what the decks you see on there. And I have a bifolding trailer that kind of folds in three pieces. It folds twice into three pieces and just stores away and I bust it out and I use it at a campsite from the campsite to the ramp. And I'm thinking of how, you know, these are all made to make my life easier after towing and unpacking and doing all these things at a campsite. Like how can I make my experience on the water actually not stressful? And so everything I do on this boat is for it to be the least stressful and the most efficient and the best working. And I just getting these batteries, right? Because obviously if you have an inflatable, it's becoming in a bag. You're not gonna have, well, you might have it blown up in your vehicle but me i kept it stored away in a bag the thing came that whole boat came in a bag and so the batteries had to go somewhere they weren't in the boat you can stick these batteries anywhere they kind of store literally anywhere they're out of the way with the brick style batteries you always kind of have to worry about them tipping over the terminals touching metal you know you just had to worry about a whole lot more things you don't really have to worry about these things when they lay flat they lay flat and they have these rubber ends on each section here and these are anti-sliding so if they're on the floor of anything, they don't like to slide around. And they also make these batteries stackable. So you have them staying like this, and you can stack them. One, two, three. And we actually had these double stacked. This is a 36 volt, and I had it underneath my 12 volt. With what I would say pretty generous high quality leads that come from Newport. These are Amphenol connectors. My new favorite thing for batteries is Amphenol connectors. A lot of people don't like them. I don't know why you wouldn't like them. Now for their 24, 36, and 48 volt systems, those are mainly gonna be used for motors. So they do make them 12 all the way to 48 volts. You know, with the 24 and 36 volts, mainly being targeted towards trolling motors and a few electric outboards and the 48 volts being specifically for the electric outboards. But for the 12 volts, for people who have a bunch of D-ring attachments like bilge pumps, fish finders, other accessories, they do have a quick disconnect with, uh, with ring terminals that you can mount all those accessories to, and it's it's a break between the battery and your main accessory, or it can just be the break between your battery and all the accessories. So you can rig pretty much everything in a pretty nice low key way, with nice high quality stuff, good sleeving. They kind of really did their homework and I don't know, Newport kind of killed it with these batteries. I don't think there's anything else better on the market, specifically for small boats. I mean, they work so well in this boat, I contemplate gutting all my other batteries out of all my other boats. I probably won't do that. That's stupid and expensive. And I don't know why I would do that, but it doesn't mean I haven't thought about it. That's how much I like these batteries. The 12 and 24 volt, they actually float in the water. Should anything happen, or just, just in case you just want to test it out, you could just throw them in the water. Now the 36 and the 48 volts, not so much. Those will sink. They're still waterproof though. So you could still recover them, but they'll sink. And the other thing I'll say, 
which is maybe a little underrated, their app. Their app is fantastic. It's one of the only apps out there, because there are so many Bluetooth apps for batteries out there, but a lot of them are kind of like, eh. They're like kind of gimmicky. They got a lot of nonsense on there, it's things that people don't actually care about. And they also pick up other battery companies' batteries. Like I have, if I have some of these apps, they'll pick up their current, their company batteries, another company battery, like three different types of brand batteries, plus batteries for my e-bike, plus batteries in my neighbor's garage for like tools. And I'm like, why are all these showing up? Which one is the actual battery I need? So that's annoying. So the, the Newport BMS is specific to Newport. They don't pick up anybody else's batteries but Newport. And I can attest to that, having multiple types of different brand batteries in my garage at the time of testing this. And they're also smart. Like, they will sleep. They, 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 they sense when there's, like, no activity, and they'll just straight up go to sleep. And you can wake them up with the app. The minute you wake them up with the app, you tap them, they'll turn back on. Or you can simply just unplug and replug the connectors on your trolling motor or your outboard or whatever, and then they'll come right back on. Now, if they're under constant use, they won't sleep. But this is specifically to stop the slow draw that things like like possibly fish finders or accessories with Bluetooth attached. So they're constantly drawing the littlest bit of power to stay alive so they can then wake up. Newport just kind of shuts that down and stops them from doing that. And it, it just preserves itself. And it can always be kind of seen and woke up. It's sensed immediately. It's They're so nice. Nicest batteries on the market for sure, especially for small watercraft. All right, guys, check them out on tvnation.net, the Newport Low Pro Batteries.